Hi, we're here on Thursday afternoon with an update on our disturbance here over the uh, Central Caribbean and into the Southwest North Atlantic, uh, Invest uh, AL94, a tropical wave that's near the Dominican Republic and the Turks and Caicos Islands this afternoon. Right now, the system is still not that well organized, but producing some heavy rainfall across portions of Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and that rainfall will be moving into the Turks and Caicos and portions of the Bahamas as we go through the next couple of days. We also have tropical storm Roberto that formed yesterday out to the uh, east-northeast of this area of disturbed weather. Uh, we look in a little bit closer. We have an 80% chance of this system becoming a tropical depression over the next couple of days. In fact, we're expecting tropical depression to form either late Friday or over the weekend in the vicinity of the Bahamas. And if we zoom out and take a look at what we expect this system to do as we go through the next few days, we're expecting a, a northward to northwestward motion of this system after it becomes a tropical depression uh, near or over portions of the central and northwestern Bahamas. And then out here over to the southwestern Atlantic as we go through the weekend and into early next week. Uh, there is an increasing risk for some impacts from this system, from heavy rainfall, the possibility of wind and storm surge along portions of the southeast U.S. coast, from portions of Florida up through North Carolina. Uh, there's also the potential for interaction of this system with Umberto, which is forecast to move northwestward and then north-northwestward, becoming a major hurricane to the southwest of Bermuda early next week. So still a lot of details to sort out at this point in time, but the main message is that there's an increasing risk of impacts uh, from this system across portions of the Bahamas and across portions of the southeast United States coastline as we go through the weekend and into early next week. So a reminder for everyone in these areas to keep coming back to hurricanes.gov. We update the tropical weather outlook every six hours hours. If we start advisories on this system, those will be updated every six hours as well. For those along the southeast U.S. coast, you can get more information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.